Some of you may have seen conversations from members on Twitter over the past few days raising questions and concerns about the proposed amendments in the AGM papers about post-nominals. The proposed amendments have been brought forward with the full backing of the College's Board of Trustees and unanimously endorsed by the RC Site Council, who are democratically elected by our members, all of you, to take decisions on their behalf, and they of course represent faculties, divisions and devolved councils. In addition, we've had a far-reaching membership survey. I was very disappointed to hear in the survey, but sadly not surprised, that several of our SAS doctors felt excluded and isolated, highlighting the voting restrictions resulting in many feeling like they don't have a voice. The suggested changes will take our EDI journey to the next level and help further the objectives of the College as well as enveloping the College's values and publicly recognising the worth and increased engagement of practising psychiatrists. Affiliates will become entitled to vote in general meetings and elections of the College and be able to use the post-nominal AFFRC Psych. International Associates will become entitled to vote in general meetings and elections of the College and be able to use the post-nominal ARC Psych. Specialist Associates will become entitled to apply for fellowship of the College after 10 years membership and will also have the right to use the post-nominal SP ARC Psych. Their applications will be considered by the Nominations Committee to ensure that they meet the standards and distinction expected of a Fellow of the Royal College of Psychiatrists. Specialist Associates already have the right to vote at general meetings and in elections of the College. Students at international medical schools recognised by the equivalent of the GMC in other countries and by the Council of the College will become eligible to become student associates. There is a proposal to remove the cap on the number of people who can be mental health associates at the college to increase the college's engagement with allied mental health professionals who work in multidisciplinary teams with psychiatrists. International associates as well as affiliates will need to be nominated by two existing members and then approved by a process agreed by council. There will also be a power for the Board of Trustees to adopt a code of conduct to apply to all trustees, council members, officers, members, associates and affiliates. The UK Council will be renamed the, college, uh, the Council of the College to reflect the global membership of the College rather than just the United Kingdom. The chairs of the international divisions will become members of the Council of the College and will attend meetings online. Provision will be made for virtual meetings of the College, including general and special meetings. These changes that I've spoken to you about follow the direction of travel from many of our fellow Medical Royal Colleges. I hope this goes some way in explaining our position. Thank you.